Hi, I'm Linda Borgmeyer, and today is a hit session. So it's going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. I'm going to go through all the exercises with you. I typically do this at about 26 hertz. Um, before you do this exercise, I expect that you have warmed up 18 hertz for a couple of minutes with a squat and, and an opener, chest opener, hip opener. Um, so please do that before you start the training. Again, I'm not your therapist and I'm not your doctor, so make sure it's okay for you to engage in this kind of activity. So let's get started. I'm going to just go quickly go through all the exercises with you. So the first one, I have a band around my ankle here. And you can put a weight around your ankle or you can have a toddler hold on to your leg. Whatever, get, whatever you need to give yourself some resistance. So the, the, you go into a squat and you march. You pick the le your leg up. So as you're picking up, this, uh, the leg that's left on the, the platform has to stabilize. That's really good strength and are really good for your glutes and your legs. And then the other leg is pulling up against the weight, which is a really good hip flexor. And then you're going to remove that. You're going to get in position. Let me get a towel. You'll get in position. And you're going to do hip dips. So you're going to rock, rock your hips down. If you don't want to go fully into um, extension, you can drop your knees down. You can drop your elbows down. And you can do the same thing. Okay? That's called the hip dip. And then... We're going to do the squat kick back. So when you kick back, you're activating your glutes. And when you're standing on one leg, you're activating all your hip stabilizers. Really good news. Then we want to build up these beautiful calves. So we're going to go up on our toes and down. Up on our toes and down. That's the easiest one we're going to do. Then for the last one, we're going to go into a squat and we're going to tap back. Tap back as fast as you can. Don't lose your balance. Feel free to look at your feet to make sure you're landing in the right spot because you should be in the right spot, like between one and two, whatever your fitness level is. You know where you're at. <sighs> More desire. Okay, let's get started. All right. I'm going to put the band around my feet. And I'm going to start it. And you're going to lift up and down. Woo, this is hard. Feel free to do whatever counterbalance you need to do in order to keep yourself stable. So for me, it's keeping my arms out. There you go. Twenty more seconds. Eight more seconds. Whew. You get kind of a break. And now we're going to do the core dips. Again, you can go on extended hands, extended legs, or you can do the modified. I tell you what, I like the modified. So I'm going to break my forearms down. I'm going to uh, lean back on my knees. I'll lift my feet up. And I'm just going to dip from side to side. Your arms are at one. And remember, push your shoulders up and away. Push your chest away from the platform. Dipping down. Coming back. We're getting your obliques. Fifteen more seconds. Whew. That was tough. Okay. Now we're going to do the squat with the kickback for your glutes. Easy enough. Okay. Squat, kick back. Squat, kick back. Squat, kick back. You got the idea. 45 seconds. Make sure you squeeze your glutes when you kick your leg back. Okay. 
Again, I use a counter move to keep my balance. All right, now, this seems like it's gonna be the easiest exercise, but actually going up on your toes is pretty tough. So plant your feet at one, press the button, go up on your toes, activating the soleus and the gastrocnemius, the muscles you need to push off when you run, when you walk. Just hold it up there a second to really feel the stimulation. Counter move, keeping your balance. You can also put a chair in front of you. All right. We're more than halfway there. Don't give up. You have to stop and just stand there a second. Go right ahead. These exercises are meant to burn it out. But you will burn fat for the next 72 hours. Ooh. All right. Shake it off. Oh, no, I felt like it was tapping because you have to do this three times is the squat and tap back. This should raise your heart rate. If you want more stimulation, you can step out a little bit further. That's pretty intense. You're just tapping back, come back to the board. You got 15 more seconds. Whoo! Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. And children of all ages. Ah. Ah. So what I want you to do, rewind, do it three times total. Make sure you cool down 16 hertz, even 10 hertz with your feet wide, and just give yourself a goodbye massage. Thanks for stopping by.